Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. And Steven says, thank you, Mary, you're welcome. Carpe Diem says, what a great surprise to have you on tonight, Mary, and great to see you. Great information as always. You're quite welcome. Uh, Carpe Diem, uh, thank you for being here. I appreciate your energy and uh, helpfulness and uh, joining us. It always makes the program better. And Mr. DKB says, I think this channel and its content is too sophisticated for the average YouTube user. <laughs> it could explain the low viewership or it's simply a waiting game until more people catch on that yeah i would have uh, thought uh, that they would have caught on it by now <laughs> i've been at it for so many years either i really don't know uh, how to promote it which i really don't i've spent money on promoting a little short videos two minute videos on youtube and on facebook and um, for the live streams and it uh, it's always like that my videos are maximum 200 150 the first day maybe 50 60 70 some of them i don't know hit it off out the park and over the years it go nuts but i wonder what is it just because it, it, it certainly in the in the uh, channel's name there's no breakup or ocd so people can't think oh i don't want to subscribe to the channel so it will show like people are looking around to see what you what channel you subscribe to but uh, anyhow still we don't have uh, people um, and the viewership is not much either you know what is it 30,000 40,000 a month I, I have no understanding and I've seen the channels that are just full of nonsense and they've got like five six hundred thousand or eight hundred thousand viewers and they talk shit they talk nonsense and for and many people told me once you make sure the videos okay sure okay my videos are long half an hour 25 minutes 15 minutes 40 minutes okay i shorten i have now five minutes six minutes three minutes four minutes eight minutes 12 minutes 15 minutes all of them no change but i've got these other channels that i saw i look at see what is it that their video is like 40 minutes and i see 500,000 viewers and i watch the 40 minutes it's bloody nonsense there is nothing there what is it that people are watching what are they learning from it nothing so i really don't know what's going on and i'm not, i'm tired of talking about it actually i don't want to bitch about it that's what it is that's the understanding of uh, you know my father once said um, i don't know the ones who've heard about my father my father was a very educated man he had a phd in law spoke six languages and I learned a lot from him and his pictures on my wall i'm proud of him and he he he, he left us in 2011 but uh, we were talking about politics of the world at one time when I was much younger and my father said, each nation deserves the government that they have. And he was not talking about the forceful and mean and undemocratic governments that have been placed by force and uh, military and weaponries on top of those people. No, in a democratic system, people deserve the government that they have because that's their understanding. So I submit to you that whoever's on this channel, they're at a certain level that they're looking for this content and this quality and this echelon of exchange in communication and knowledge. And the ones who are not here, they don't deserve to be here. They're looking for what they are deserving, which are many other channels that are out there, which may or may not be, probably are not at the level that we are discussing and that's fine because i only care about you guys that are here and these are the important people who i would like to deliver the seed of pondering for you to use it and then pass it on when the time comes and if you couldn't pass it on just refer them to the channel i'll do the job <laughs> all right Mr. DKB says, wow, great answer. I don't know which one. <laughs> Mr. DK says, makes sense. Thank you for that. Carpe Diem says, I noticed that I can have experiences that are very similar, but my emotions cause me to view them in a positive way one day, a negative way another day. It's basically based on the tolerance you have on that day. And that tolerance is created by the dopamine that is secreted in your brain. You're in a good mood. Therefore, your tolerance is like going to the gym. 
You're the same weight, the same thing. But your attitude and your determination, the I can feeling, the I can do attitude, can do attitude is prevalent there. And therefore, you lift weights and the reps and the number of sets and number of reps that you wouldn't do the next day or the day before. You're the same person. But the level of optimistic attitude toward what you want to accomplish and how you want to deal with the challenges that are coming your way is different from day to day. Again, depending on the dopamine, de- depending on what makes you happy, depending on the certain kind of a inner understanding and pondering and anal- analyzation of life that gave you Hope that they say, I can do this without this. I don't have this, but I don't give a shit that I don't have it. I can focus on the brilliance of life on the other tangents. And I'm not dependent on having this before I can enjoy life. I will enjoy life. And if I have this, great. If I don't, doesn't matter. Those days you can handle that what you're saying in a different way. And the other days that you think I got to have this in order to enjoy everything else that is independent of this, then you will not handle things as good as you did the other day. The same thing in the gym. I do great one day and fully focused. Your mood is good and everything. And then the other day, you will just feel like, okay, I don't know. That's because there are certain things in your head that it doesn't let you feel like focusing on what you want to accomplish. Instead, you focus on halfway here, halfway there. So naturally, when you're not totally focused here, then your faculties are not really at the optimum to give you the service and the function and the performance that you're expecting from them. Same experience, different reactions. How can I control those emotions and thoughts? I prefer to feel better over the same experience than negative. Mind is playing so many tricks depending how my emotion is at that moment, yes. And and basically that means you need to make your life more fun, uh, which results in more coordination of mind and body. And then your mind affects the body, your body affects the mind. So better care of your body, eating better food, resting enough, and engaging in mindful exercises, meditating. It all brings a level of neurotransmitters of GABA, serotonin, melatonin, growth hormones, and reduces the cortisol. And all that chemical balance is created uh, through mindful exercises and meditation, plus how you uh, take care of your nutrients and the uh, activities that brings you pleasantry and pleasure. It all then combines a better coordination of mind and body, which results in that ability, extraordinary ability to deal with challenges that otherwise some other days, same challenges could actually bring you down while through having the exercises and practices and lifestyles and that we just talked about, you would be able to handle them differently in more vigor and more hopefulness and more independent from what's bugging you, but what I can do rather than what's bugging me doesn't let me do. I separate myself and I only focus on what I can do, how I can unleash my powers on, how I can accomplish something. Because from that accomplishments, I also get a good feeling. And that good feeling also helps and propels me to deal with similar situations that comes up the next day better, rather than waiting until I have this and deal with this to feel good, to do better on dealing with the situation the next day. But instead, I push myself to deal through something that I don't feel like dealing that well, but I deal with it great because that itself will give me that extraordinary feeling of confidence and accomplishment, which it rotates and turns around and gives me the boost that I need for the next time. So in other words, leave what you don't have, what you can't get, what doesn't work for you behind. Don't wait until you get it done to use that to propel you to get things done the next day better. But just get the things done, whether you have this particular thing taken care of the way you like it or not. Get the things done. Push through because that pushing through will give you that extraordinary energy that you're looking for, that you're looking to get from this thing that is not working, but you get it through accomplishing a task that is challenging you right now, independent of something working for you or not, because that itself will bring you the energy that you want to deal with other things that are going to come back at you tomorrow. Short and long, push through, don't give a shit what is not working. Just focus on what can work, what you can get at work, and that's all you care about. What's not working, then it's own loss. You don't have to make everything work if they're not really actually helping to get themselves 
work in the way that you prefer them to work. So give yourself a break, in other words. I don't know if it makes sense for you or not, 